My name is Cheryl and I'm the PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Meet Simple. In this video, I will be analysing a past year examination question on the topic of fungi and bacteria. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking the link in the description box down below. So let's get started. Question 2. Four students made some comments about bacteria. Now, if you remember what you have learned about bacteria, they are considered what kind of organisms? They are considered microorganisms. Now, why do you think we classify bacteria as microorganisms? Or how do we know what are microorganisms? Microorganisms are organisms that are very small. So do you think you will be able to see them with your naked eye? If they are microorganisms, this means that they will be too small for us to be seen with our naked eye. So let's write down that we cannot see them with our naked eyes. With a general understanding of what bacteria is, let's now take a look at the four statements and see who made the correct statements. Ellen mentioned that bacteria are all harmful to human beings. Is Ellen correct? Is it really true that all bacteria are harmful? Can you think of any good bacteria? If you recall what you have learned, there are some good bacteria out there, isn't it? There are some good bacteria that can be used to make food. Can you recall what kind of food those are? They are our yogurt and cheese. So this means that not all bacteria are harmful to human beings. So Ellen is wrong. Let's see what Bala mentioned. Bala mentioned that bacteria need air, food, water to survive. Does this phrasing needing air, food, water to survive sound familiar to you? In which topic have you heard this phrasing before? It is in the topic of living and non-living things. If you can recall, can you tell me what are the things that need air, food and water to survive? They are the living things. Do you think bacteria are living thing? Bacteria is considered a living thing. So this means that it would definitely need air, food, water to survive. And Bala is correct. Let's see what Carl mentioned. Carl mentioned that bacteria cannot be seen with our naked eyes. Did we mention this earlier? Remember, bacteria are what kind of organisms? Bacteria are microorganisms which means that they cannot be seen with our naked eyes. And Carl is correct. Dave mentioned that bacteria do not respond to changes around them. Is this phrasing respond to changes around them familiar to you again? We have heard this phrasing in the topic of living and non-living things again as well. So can you recall what are the things that do not respond to changes around them? They are the non-living things. But remember, we have mentioned earlier that bacteria, they are what things? Bacteria are considered living things. So do you think the bacteria would respond to changes around them? Bacteria would respond to changes around them. So this means that this is incorrect. So who made the correct statements? The answer would be Bala and Cow. Option number three. Thank you for watching this video. If you find that this video was useful, do give us a thumbs up and leave us a note in the comment section below so we know we're on the right track. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click here for more. See you next time!